Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Up to the Real after us dying for two weeks. Um, I am Julian, and of course, your boy James. Um, we're back after a long hiatus. Uh, both of us were literally <laughs> not at all well. So now we're back and we're given to give you the most movie news that we can. So without further ado, I'm going to get us started. Um, Oscars. Uh, the Oscars. <laughs> um... It wasn't bad to watch. It wasn't a bad show to watch. It was actually better than last year's, not debacle, but it was just, ugh. Yes, last year was bad. But this year it was good. Um, it ran through very quickly. The only problem is, is Miss Daisy, Driving Miss Daisy Part 2 won Best Picture. <laughs> it like, took me a minute. So having not watched the Oscars, I was like, what did Driving Miss Daisy? Uh, <laughs> yeah. So Green Book won, and I'm like, really? Really? A white Italian man showing a black man how to love, live life. Yep. Spider-Man won Best Animated, though. I love that, though. Hey, hey Spider-Man. We called it. We <laughs> called it. So I'm excited about that, though. Um, other than that, Bohemia Web City winning. Best Editing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I saw a clip from the. I haven't seen the movie, but I saw a clip and it's like, okay. <laughs> like I, like I, when I was first starting college, could have edited that way better than what it was. Best editing, aka you owned five cameras. Like <laughs> that's all it was, and you cut between them. Like, yeah. It's like okay, whatever. But other than that, there's nothing really much besides the fact that the Oscars. Um, Ratings went up 12%, so. I wonder if that's people wanting to see a train wreck. You know what I mean? I think it was because people wanted to see a train wreck. To be honest, that's why I watched, because I wanted to see a train wreck. Yeah. Um, wasn't a train wreck. It was actually a decent show. The only problem was, it's like, again, why Crane Book of all movies? Um, but, yeah, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. It's funny looking at a lot of the like nominees for all the like main awards. It's like, this was a pretty good movie year for movies, but not actually a great year for movies. No, not at all. Like, most of these movies would be like, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. That was cool. That was dope. Nothing that was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. And that's, and that's even saying that, like I said, Spot, like we said last year, Star Born was my favorite movie of last year. And even then, I was just like, it was a great movie. Yeah. Not a fantastic movie. Yeah, it's like, when you say like, it was the best movie of the year, it's like, Okay, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> looking at the year that we had, okay, sure. Like, okay, yeah. that's figured. Um, yeah, that's figured. I don't know. I, it's still, I know they'll never, like, because they hate animated movies to the point where they'll never put them in a of the year, mo uh, movie of the year type thing, but even though Best Picture. Spider Verse should have been nominated. Yeah, it should have been nominated on that because I'm like, that, yeah. Either way, though. Um, but we did get recently a new Shazam trailer. Yes. Um, we see a little bit more of the actual action in the movie, a little more of the special effects. Zachary Levi kind of like being more of Captain Marvel or Shazam as he's fully dubbed now. Um, actually fighting the villain a bit and kind of just more general joking around. Kind of like saying, hey, you know, we're being a little less serious with this than all the other DC movies. And after about 15 years of waiting for this movie to come out, it seems, it actually seemed like it's going to be okay. So I was just going to say that for the first trailer, it looked like, okay, we're going to give it some of the kid aspect, but we're going to try to force it too much to be like a Superman-esque movie. Now this trailer makes it seem like what Shazam is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty excited and stoked to see that. Mm -hmm. um, only thing is, is I think it's going to be just like Aquaman. It's going to be good not great it's just gonna be like yeah. okay i watched this pretty much that's kind of how i'm anticipating like it's something i'm gonna say oh it's my favorite superhero movie or even close it's like that movie wasn't bad and yeah. that's fine yeah so. it's 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 that notion that that's why i'm like it, like okay i'm gonna be fine with it um other than that yeah dc speaking of which on the side note you know dc eu after Careful consideration are now thinking of just only doing standalone projects and not doing an extended universe anymore. Yeah, they kind of hinted about that a while back, and now it's just like, it makes more sense. Like, don't try to be Marvel if you don't have to. Well, if you can't. I was going to say, you could have been Marvel. To be honest, I think the storytelling there for DC is way better. 
But like we talked about here, you jumped the gun so early, that's what destroyed this universe in the first place. So now you're trying to backtrack. It's like, okay, now we're going to do standalone projects. It's like the damage is already done. Mm -hmm. I feel like you should have just be like, yeah, reset button. But we'll see. We will see. Um, Also, speaking of DC news, um, not really an official trailer, but like a teaser for um, Joker came out where basically somebody released on YouTube some um, camera footage of Joaquin Phoenix playing the Joker and showing different moments and things like that in the film. Um, I watched about a minute of it. I didn't want to watch the whole two and a half minutes because I didn't want to be spoiled Mm -hmm. with anything. But from what I can tell, it looks it looks okay. Out of the opposite reaction I saw it, I'm 100% out. <laughs> I just, I don't know why. It's, I think it's just I'm tired of the character. Uh, the Joker and seeing so many different versions of really? him. Okay. And then having a movie based around just him. Def, it's, it's kind of the situation I have with Gotham. Where yeah, that's I don't, exactly how I feel. it's like I don't really care about a lot of these small side characters getting like I mean obviously Joker's a big side character, but it's like I don't need to see I know I know the Joker. Like I don't need more of that. Thank you. And that's how I felt about Gotham. Like I was like, okay, the trailer when the first trailer came out for Gotham was like, oh it's coming on Fox. I was like, eh. Yeah. It looks okay. It looks okay. I'm not that disinterested in it, but you know, I'm a huge Batman fan. Why not go see what they're gonna reimagine for his Rogues Gallery? Oh, it's that? Yeah, I wish I would have not wasted my time on it. And I feel the same way I'm going to feel with Joker. It feels like Joaquin Phoenix, if there's anybody who can do Joker like the way I would want it to see is Joaquin. Well, because he's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but even with the teaser, the stuff that they showed in that little fan-made trailer, I'm just like, yeah. It's okay. I'm I'm not excited. I'm just like I think okay. people will enjoy it. I pro- I'm probably just gonna completely like. I'm not gonna enjoy it. I'm probably gonna pass it. <laughs> I'm probably I'm gonna, not gonna enjoy. You can't make me. <laughs> I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna feel like how I felt with the animated Killing Joke movie, which I feel like this is pretty much that, just without the Batman. Um. Yeah, I don't know. The thing is, I I even watched. I I lost a bet and had to watch the first season of Gotham. And man, oh, it I like they like. Do you like it? So I'm like, no, 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 Ron. I still don't like it. It's still a bad <laughs> show. <sighs> My brother's like Julian. You should like it. He's a Batman fan. I'm like, I am a huge Batman fan. And to tell you, I don't like Gotham shows you something. Yeah. Sorry, I don't. Sorry, guys. I got something we like though. The Game of Thrones trailer. For the final season drop. Yes. And hot damn, I'm excited for I'm that. I'm excited. We're like a little about, about a month away from it, and then our lives will be over once it's over, because, yeah. Yeah. Now, just so you know, yes, we know it's not a movie, but god damn it, if it's not, if it's not filmed like a movie, then we don't know what it is. Each yeah. episode is going to be almost an hour and a half long. You bet, goddamn right it's a movie. We're calling it a movie. Yeah, the, we see a lot of like scenes of... What we assume is them fighting in the Whites. Yeah, the White um, Walkers in Winterfell. Oh. Because we see a lot of combat. We see fire in the background. We see a lot of the main characters. I'm excited because it looks like pretty much everyone except Cersei's there. Cersei's just in King's Landing drinking her wine like she was in this in the in the trailer. I'm like, All right. so I, and I'm gonna call. I like to call my shots here at uh, stage three. So this, there's a scene in the trailer. With her kind of tearing up and drinking wine. Not really tearing up, but her eyes look like they're well enough. They're well enough, yeah. I think she kills Jamie, and that's right after it. You think it's Jamie? Yes, because here's two reasons why. She, the last time I remember seeing her drinking a wine like this, spoilers for Game of Thrones, is when she blew up the when church. When she the church. And she's drinking wine. Because Tommy killed himself. She drinks wine after, like, people die, like, in a, a big death type thing. And she's, like, she's kind of, like, happy, but she's still, like, kind of sad because she still loves him. So I don't know. That's some call my shot though. I think my boy, my boy Jamie gonna die. I'm so I'm... I think Jamie's gonna kill her. I don't know, man. I think she... I think Jamie's gonna be the one to kill her. I would like him to, but he's my favorite character, so uh, I see don't know. Tyrion is mine. It could be Tyrion. She hates Tyrion though. But hey, you can hate him and then feel sorry that you killed him on accident. Yeah. Could be. Could be a thing. You never know. But um also, real quick news, 
there's a rumor that there's this scene or this episode that's going to be called Battle for Winterfell. It's going to be the longest continuous shot of a battle scene that we're going to have in the history of film, in the history of TV series. Is it going to be a continuous shot or a continuous scene? Continue. I mean... Like, so I'm wondering, because Game of Thrones jumps around. I'm wondering if it just... The only... I must say the only... The only... One that did a continuous shot in Game of Thrones was the Battle of the Bastards when John mm-hmm. is getting claustrophobic and he's fighting through all the entire pods yeah. before Ramsey like kills everybody. That was so I don't know. Like some people are saying it's a continuous shot. Some people are saying it's gonna a long like the entire scene, the battle sequence is gonna be the longest that like the entire episode is that fight. Yeah, yeah. And so if it is, I'm so down. Yeah. Because it looks like in the trailer, spoilers if you haven't seen the trailer yet, it looks like every player is in Winterfell. At all, this point. all the heroes are here. And it, the only person who is there is Cersei, but you know, Cersei doesn't want to fight nobody. Yeah. But yeah, it looks like everybody is coming and fighting the Night King. And I'm, I can't wait. It's, it's going to be hype. Oh, God. April 14th, get here already, damn it. I need it. I need it. <laughs> I need it today. <laughs> Um, but on that note, um, what's up? One more thing I want to say. For all the people who are now saying that Detective Pikachu looks pretty good, I done told you, go back and watch the tapes when the first oh trailer came out. Goodness. I told you this movie looks pretty good. It's looking pretty damn good right now. Oh my goodness. The Called second, it. The second trailer came out about a week and a half ago. Oh my goodness. I am so ready. Anthem and Detective Pikachu. Called them both. Holla at your boy. Psychic. <laughs> That's a raven. Uh, <laughs> yeah, go on though. That's all I want to say. Um, but on that note, movies that will be coming out this weekend will be Captain Marvel. Hey. Um, basically, your latest installment before we see the MC on the MCU do another conclusion of Phase Three for Avengers. It's like an epilogue type yeah. deal, honestly. So we'll see how that goes. Um, real quick, any. Any, you want to throw any wrenches in there? Any shots? But Captain Marvel, I, the only one I said I have is the whole cat scratching the eye. Right. And, and like I said, we did see a while back, there there was posters for the movie, and the cat had a specific poster. So like I think that's cat, her pet. Um, I, I think it's important, though, and I think it's taking Samuel Jackson's so, eye. So real quick, I was going to say, after after finding that out, I had to go do some digging. Mm-hmm. I think it's her pet cat that she takes from the when she's like, you know, training and stuff like that. The cat looks like that, but if you piss it off enough, it becomes this tentacle evil thing and it slashes your eye. So it could have <laughs> did not like Nick Fury and loses his eye. Could be, could be. So, hey, you call the shots. Yeah, I'm just I saying. Said, I, 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 said, I said, bang. Now I'm just waiting for it to finally yeah. hit the backboard and go. You're in. three for three on the show, on, on stage three already. So you can go four for four. Also, I'm going to call it right now. I don't think this movie is going to be as a big success as they think it will be. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be. I mean, look at all the other first movies of all the other series. They all kind of suck outside of, like, Guardians. So <laughs> Very true. Captain America kind of sucked. Iron Man is probably the best Iron it's Man, but it still kind of sucks. Uh, Thor 1 kind of sucks. Like, you're, you're right. You're right. The only one that didn't was Guardians and Black Panther. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, okay. When, if, if, if it's better than like Thor and Captain America, the first Avenger, like, okay. Oh, good job. Ready for the sequel. Okay. So, yeah, I guess that's it from us. Is there anything you wanted to say first? No, I'm just waiting. Now I'm just waiting for my predictions to come true. All of them. Hey, he's three for three on the show. So I'm, I'm, I'm riding his coattails. Like, <laughs> if he says it's true, it's true. But don't forget to like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications if you have it. Thank you for just coming back with us. Yes, we've been sick, but we're back. Um, yeah, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, turn off the notifications if you have it. Um, follow both of us on social media. Um, other than that, I mean, go watch Captain Marvel. Let's go support Brie Larson and what conclusions we may have to what's going to happen in Endgame. So, but from all of us here at Stage Regret, thanks for joining us. And-